Today, I'm going to talk about the good and the bad of this We the People holster. Stick around. Hey everybody, Carolina Gun Guy here. So I recently picked up this We the People holster, and I, I wanted to talk about it real quick. I've had it for a little over a week, and I've been carrying with it, and there's some good and some bad, but I want to give you my thoughts on it. Uh, now, what attracted me to it was Facebook. I saw a Facebook ad for, I think it was 25% off. This was about two and a half weeks ago. And the holster, this particular one, is normally 45 bucks, and it came to me 33.75 shipped. So that's not too bad for a, a custom-made Kydex holster with you know a design like this. 34 bucks is, isn't bad at all. So I thought I would get it and try it out, and. It actually came with this little bag here, We The People Holsters, and open it up and get 20% off coupon for your next order, so thank you 20 is the code if you guys want to order it. comes with a couple stickers. This is a, a white decal, so it's hard to see, and then a smaller little sticker right there. So it comes with some, a little bit of swag when you buy it. and. Here's what I think of it. So I got this for my Ruger Security 9. So empty. So this is an in the waistband. I carry appendix. So it's an in the waistband carry. And it actually fits pretty good. I mean, first off, retention is pretty well. I mean I can hold this thing upside down and it takes a little bit of shaking to get it out. So it's good and obviously you can adjust the retention with a screw right there. And as far as the fit, it fits pretty well. It covers the trigger guard. Both sides are covered well. Nothing can get in there at all. Um, the form is pretty good. My only little gripe is I don't see the purpose for this large gap on top of both the sights. I'm not really sure what that's for, why they have such a big spot, because it's not big enough to hold any kind of red dot sight or anything so I'm not sure why the gap on there so it creates this extra ridge on top and I don't quite understand why you'd want that um, now my personal preference when I carry I like to carry the gun down lower I, I'm not a huge guy I'm six foot one about 215 pounds I do have a little bit of a gut and I like to carry with the, the gun lowered down so this clip I would prefer it to be a little higher so, in order for that to be achieved, I would prefer the Kydex to actually come up here so that the, the clip can be higher up too. So, because, because the belt line starts right here, and then the gun comes a good, what, three inches, two and a half to three inches above the belt line, it does kind of dig into me a little bit, and so that's created some discomfort. Um, another part that creates discomfort for me when I wear it is right here. I mean, I understand you have to have the screw, the retention screw, but I'm wondering, could you not cut a lot of this out? Because this kind of digs into your leg a little bit at this point here. So could that not be cut out and the screw put closer there? I don't know. I don't make holsters, but those are some of the issues that I've had as far as the gun digging into me from up here and then digging into my leg down here. So those are some of the issues that I've had. Now other than, those are my kind of personal preference issues. Other than that, this seems to be a pretty well-made holster. Uh, it's good quality uh, Kydex. It's molded well. It has uh, adjustments so you can adjust the cant on it. You can adjust the height a little bit. I did move this clip up. You can see inside there's four screw holes there. So I did take it off and I moved it up to the highest point that it could be. Um, so you can adjust it a little bit. And I like the design. I like the We The People flag design on it, too. It's pretty cool. I mean, for 34 bucks, like I said, it's not a bad holster. It's a, a pretty good thing. So I'm still undecided on this. It's a little bit uncomfortable for me personally to carry. So I'm still undecided if I'm going to keep it, if I'm going to um, send it back for a refund. I probably won't because it's it's not a, nothing to do with the, the fault of the manufacturer. I mean... It's more my own personal preference of the way I carry, and I don't, I can't really fault the manufacturer, we the people holsters, um, for the issues that I'm having. So I'll probably keep this. I don't know if I'll use it regularly in my rotation, but um, it's a good. I I can't recommend it. I can't recommend against it though. Um, I, I recommend that if you want to, if you're looking for a holster, 
go check them out because they do make a quality product here and you may have the same issues I have you may not I don't know we're all built differently we all have different body types so all you can do is trial and error right we're all, as the more we carry the the more holsters we end up within a drawer somewhere and I'm trying to avoid that I'm trying to find a good one that's just comfortable for all around this one doesn't quite fit the bill but these are my initial impressions again I've only had it for a little little over a week so we'll see what happens as I keep using it and that's my thoughts on it those are my thoughts guys thanks for watching I appreciate it please hit that like button if you can subscribe if you want more videos have a good day God bless